we have to make this right. We have to. We're angry. We're furious that this happened. Elmbrook Superintendent Mark Hansen sure. tells 12 News he received an email April 1st from a woman claiming that now 74-year-old Gary Blaschke had sexually assaulted her for years, beginning when she was a student at Burleigh Junior High in the mid-1980s, and he was the gym teacher and softball coach. The fact of the matter is his actions are not in dispute. Through an independent investigation with an external investigator and through our own internal investigation, the facts are not in dispute. After his retirement in 2002, Blaschke continued as a substitute teacher at East and Central as recently as December and still supervised sporting events. He's now suspended and ordered to stay off school property. So we were able to take a look at our more recent communication system and find records that we felt were really important to the investigation. Had they communicated recently? We turned those records over to the police department. No one answered at Blaschke's Brookfield home. A neighbor told us he's living in Florida. She called him, quote, a good man. Because we want to make sure there aren't additional victims, period. Is there any reason to think there might be? Our investigation at this stage has no evidence that indicates there are additional victims. But we felt compelled that we needed to provide this information to our general community at large. Nick, the district is encouraging potential victims to come forward. What's the involvement of police at this point? Right, Brookfield police tell us that they are investigating, but there could be issues with the statute of limitations, of course, with allegations going back 35 years. Now, the school district says they have turned over all of their findings, though, to Brookfield police. Nick Bohr reporting live in Brookfield tonight.